Six, and we are here with another Kids Corner. Yes. Woo, woo. We love Kids <laughs> Corner. What are we doing today, Kevin? So we are making toilet paper seed starters. Yes. So fun, so cool. What is it? Okay, so <laughs> this is a really simple project. Yes. What you do is you take a toilet paper roll, you put some soil and a seed in it, and then once it sprouts, you can plant the whole thing in the ground. Yeah, so super easy, something you can find around the house, around your parents' bathroom, around your yep. bathroom. Yep. It's gonna be so much fun. Yes. <laughs> little toilet paper roll containers now with our seats. What do we have? All right. Borage. So this is an edible flower. It's got really pretty blue flowers on it so you can have it just to look at or actually eat. Yeah. Put it on some cakes, I think is what the package yep, said, or, or salad. salad. Mm -hmm. Then we've got cucumber, which our everybody favorite. likes cucumber. Yes. Delicious. Yes. It's also a vine, so make sure you have a trellis or somewhere with a lot of room for it yes. to grow. It gets crazy. Yes. <laughs> and last but not least, snow peas. Yes. These are also a fun one to eat off of the vine. Yes, I love to pick these right off the bush and eat them with just a little bit of salt. Delicious. Really good. <laughs> All right, all so. Right, let's plant them. All right. over here. Let's do snow peas first. Okay, I'm going to write on our container so we know what we were putting in there. Yes. No. And just to give a glimpse at what this looks like, it actually looks like dried up peas. Imagine that. <laughs> Alrighty. Really cool. So just take your finger, kind of make a little hole in there. And we're just going to do about two to three of them. Yeah. Not that anything way. too deep. Yeah. And that way, if some of them don't sprout, you got to back up. And you'll just cover it up and put it back in our little container. Have cucumber next. Okay. These will blow away, so make sure you're not on a windy yes. day. <laughs> Same thing. Do a little hole. Do Same. three of those. I like the oh, name. Orange. And look at these seeds really up close. These are really cool. They look almost like tiny little rocks. Yeah. So try not to lose these because you will lose them on the ground if you drop them. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna do three of these as well. Here's your tiny. Here's so little. Perfect. <laughs> All righty. A little bit in there and a little bit in there. Perfect. So just keep an eye on your plants and then just give them a little bit of water every couple days. Yes. And keep an eye on them and pretty soon you'll see some sprouts coming up. What do you think, like a week? Yeah, Maybe two weeks at the on, most? Yeah, depending on where you're at. Make yeah. sure you have a nice sunny spot so they're getting lots of sunlight and yes. for those plants to grow. Yep, easy peasy. 
we're back yes. and we have our growing seedlings from our video so we are excited to show you how it looks after just a couple of weeks yeah yeah so what and you do we can kind of see Kevin? so we have our borage right here you can kind of see it has the leaves on it already um, which is really nice um, as you remember we have our snow peas which are slightly coming out of there. These yeah. are cool because we planted them, but the seeds kind of popped up they a little bit and yeah. exposed themselves. And then they got a few little leaves on it. And then we have snow peas here. And um, our cucumbers, they're the only thing that's a little slower than the rest of them. They're, they're finally yeah, they're coming finally out. coming out. So that might take a little longer than the rest of them, but they're, they're definitely peeking out there, so. Yeah, so that's kind of the fun thing about these is you get to see like how fast like they mm -hmm. come up. And so they're different depending yeah. on the seeds. So our, our peas were the first one to pop up mm -hmm. and then our borage and then lastly our cucumbers but we had a pretty good success rate too so we planted about three seeds in each and yes. most of them have two or three growing um, out even some of our borage all three of the seeds mm -hmm. sprouted so what you can do later on is kind of separate them out so that you don't have plants growing too close to yeah. them together so yeah. you can just pull out and just have one growing in each yeah. um, and then lastly the nice thing about these being toilet paper rolls is you can plant the whole thing in the ground and it'll just um, biodegrade and yeah because so these are work. temporary these are just little seedlings just to get it started and then once it starts getting bigger that's when you kind of want to transplant exactly. it over into yeah. something in bigger your garden, so. in a pot, yeah. something bigger so super easy guys yeah. um have fun with this project and make your casing as colorful you can make your toilet paper yeah. rolls as colorful as you want and um we hope you enjoy your plants that you're going to be growing and um yeah. What else? I think that's all, think pretty that's much. Yeah. Thank you guys. Watch us um, in the future for future videos. If you guys have any comments or questions, let us know. Tell us which one was your favorite veggie and which ones are you thinking about planting and what kind of designs are you going to do? Let us know and um, definitely follow us on Facebook like, or like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.